well, we've got some details on the boys' spinoff show. And let's just say, it sounds like a toga party. Toga! Toga! I think they like the idea, Hoof. Oh, Otter, please don't do this. Oh yeah, they are. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on the boys. But first, I wanted to remind everybody, don't forget to get in on this month's giveaway. We're giving away a Volume 1 Omnibus of the boys. All you have to do to get in on the contest is be a subscriber, hit like, and leave a comment. Well, we recently found out that The Boys is going to get its own spin-off series, as we'll focus on a college for young superheroes. And now, showrunner Eric Kripke has given some confirmation on the series. It's being reported that this series will be based on the G-Men series from The Boys, which is actually a parody of the X-Men. Now, it's currently untitled, but I do expect it to be called G-Men. It's going to be R-rated, and it's being written by executive producer Craig Rosenberg. He's actually describing this show as part college show, part Hunger Games. It follows the lives of hormonal, competitive soups as they put their physical, sexual, and moral boundaries to the test, competing for the best contracts in the best cities. This is what led to some speculation that it could be the G-Men, but then Kripke, in an interview with The Rap, confirmed. This is what he said. I would say it is loosely inspired by an element of the comics, which is the G-Men. Part of the G-Men is sort of an educational college experience. And we just use that as a jumping off point. Kind of similar to the boys, where we sort of take an initial notion, and then we are going to run with it in our own weird direction. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the G-Men in the comics, they're basically the equivalent of the X-Men. The Charles Xavier of this group, his name is John Godlikin, is actually a pedophile. And it's really, really twisted. Many of the other heroes are also spoofs of various X-Men, so this could be a bit of fun. Many of these characters are just blatant ripoffs of the X-Men, like Groundhog and Nubia are pretty much Wolverine and Storm. Now right now, it's really unclear when we're going to get this series. It's obviously in the works and could go into production fairly soon. With Amazon able to turn these out, I imagine it'll be within the next year, maybe we get a trailer inside of the next six months. Now, it shouldn't surprise you, based on the intro, when I hear these descriptions, I'm a little excited. This sounds to me like The Boys meets Animal House, which has so much built-in humor and is so perfect within this subgenre that it makes me really excited. Now, obviously, casting and some of the details as they flesh it out are going to be really important, and once we get more details about that, the production, and when the show could kick off, we'll bring them to you right away. But I'm really curious on what you guys think. Are you a fan of the G-Men from the comics? And if not, does this sound like a good idea to you? And if it doesn't, why not? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.